everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from today's title, I decided to do like an updated version on my at home pin curl curl kind of situation. The last video that I did, I think I did it two years ago while I lived in Toronto that fil or that video was filmed um, and it is my most viewed video on YouTube. It has over half a million views which is terrifying so I thought I'd do a bit of an updated version. Obviously massive disclaimer, I'm not a hairdresser, I'm not, I don't really know what I'm doing but all I know is that what I've been doing for the last few years to achieve my kind of curls and a bit of volume in my hair it works for me so I thought I would just share my tips again. I went through a few products and tools in this video I will have them linked down below. I also didn't go into too much detail about the hair in my head I have extensions and um, so just a quick little brief I have tape extensions in my hair they are these ones so I have tapes in my hair I'm not sure how many I have I'm I couldn't even tell you. Um, I get my hair extensions done by Platinum Extensions on Delaire Street. I've been getting extensions there for th three or four years now I think. Um, this is my second time having tape extensions in and I'm going to stick to the tapes definitely. If you're new here and you've never seen my videos, hi my name is Ellie. I would love if you could subscribe, it means a lot to me. But yeah, I think that's more or less it. If you have any questions at all, uh, please do leave them in the comments. I'll be in the comments when this video is live and this intro is way too long and I hope you all enjoy. So, my hair is clearly wet at the minute and I'm going to run through some of the products that I use in the shower and outside the shower really quickly just in case anybody was wondering and in case I forgot to leave it below. So, at the minute to wash um, my hair, my scalp has been really, really dry so Ona, who owns Platinum Hair Extensions and um, where I get my extensions done, sent me out the Alpha Park Semi Delino Purifying Low Shampoo which is sulfate free obviously because I have my extensions. Then I just use the Alpha Perf mask as well so um, it's just the reparative mask. I leave them linked down below anyway but all of these products you can buy from uh, Platinum as well but this is just a little mask that I use so I use that as a conditioner. I haven't actually put any product in my hair as of yet. I've just literally taken it out of a towel. After the shower um, I do like to put a little bit of something in my hair before I blow dry it so some of the products that I reach for I don't know what I'm trying to say the products that I reach for the most I think that's what I'm trying to say just to give my hair a little bit of protection or moisture before I blow dry it and um, this is the platinum luxury hair extension all-in-one protector again you can buy this from platinum I've been loving this this is nearly broken this is the L'Oreal LV Dreamlands Frizz Killer Serum which I'm sure you can just get from like Boots or yeah, kind of anywhere. I really, really like this. And then the last one that I like to go in with, this is the Revlon one. I've seen it, I have a few different kind of smells of these. I don't like to spray this all over my hair because I find once this touches my roots and I blow dry my hair, I look like my hair is just greasy. So I like to either spray this into my hands and really only focus it on the ends. Ten, ten in one, I think it is, all in one. So it's like 10 different things. In one product. So today because I'm not focusing on getting like really um, straight hair I'm obviously going to curl my hair. I'm going to go in with the Revlon one so I'm going to take that and spray it four pumps, uh, we'll do five, five pumps this smells so good just into my hands and I'm really just going to focus that towards the end of my hair, if you hear squeaking, that's my chair. All I'm going to do now is go in and blow dry my hair. There's no specific way I'm going to do it. I'm literally just going to blast dry it all over and make sure it's 100% dry. Because we are curling it, I'm not focused on getting like sleek, straight hair. And um, so I'm literally just going to go in and blast dry it. Okay, so I'm back now with fully dried hair. So, like I did a few minutes ago, I'm going to show you the, some of the little bits and bobs that I use uh, to achieve this kind of look. Again, I'll leave links down below. So, starting with the most important, the hot tool that I'm going to be using is the InStyler. So, I used this in the last video um, that I did of this. This is the main tool that I use to get like all my curls. Um, I like it because the barrel can rotate different ways. So, if you can hear, hold on. 
So that's it going one way. And if I wanted to flip back and go the opposite way, I just double tap it kind of and it goes the opposite way. So the main reason why, like, why I find that handy is um, to kind of get the front of my hair or the pieces at the front of my face. If I want them to rotate away from my face, I can just switch the rotation of the barrel and have it going um, away from my face. Yeah, it's quite simple to use once you kind of get the hang of it. Uh, along with that, I just use, again, a sectioning clip to kind of section up past my hair that has lipstick all over it. And then I use these clips from Amazon. So these are the clips that I use to pin each of the curls and I got these on Amazon. I'll leave them below. There's 24 pieces in this um, and they were cheap as chips. I think they were like a fiver, if even. The only thing that I'll say about them is sometimes they can mark your hair because they're just steel. There's no kind of like protection on them. Um, so they can mark your hair for a few seconds kind of after you use or after you take them out but I don't know does it too much and then just some hairspray so the one that I'm using today is just the L net one I like this because it doesn't leave my hair crispy or crunchy and which I, ugh, once I brush out my curls they're not kind of all stuck together they're nice and wavy so I suppose I'm just going to get straight into things and um, so I like to work from the bottom to the top so I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair with my little clip um, just kind of around my ears, so and just section and I'm just going to shove that on the top of my head and I just have the bottom half of my hair kind of sectioned out so again I'm going to section that in two halves the right side and the left side and then I'll give it a little brush Okay, I'm actually moving that camera down again so you can see this half. And uh, I'm going to talk you through kind of maybe one side and then I'll whiz through. Uh, I'll keep recording but I'll just speed up just for convenience. So, I'm going to start at the back because I find if I start at the front, do my curls at the front, I can't really see at the back. So, I'm going to start at the back and take a section about that big. My natural hair is quite short. Like, that's my natural hair there. So if that falls down, I don't really mind about it too much um, because it's more or less covered. So I'm going to take a chunk about yay big. I'm going to take my insider. And I like all my curls on this side of my face, or on both sides, to turn away from my face. So I'm going to click the insider so it goes away from my face. I'm going to wrap the hair around the hot barrel and close it for about 20 seconds. And then as it gets closer to the 20 seconds, see that little kind of like bit? I'll just kind of put the little end bit in it and just give it a few seconds. I like to catch it in my hand, so I'll turn it upside down this way and just let it kind of fall into my hands. So I'll let it fall there and just give it a little shake, just to slightly let it cool. And that is the curl that you're going to get. So I like to hairspray it now and then I do a big lash of hairspray at the end. So I'm going to lash it in hairspray now. This kind of helps the flyaways as well. So this is the part where I like twist the hair up. I don't know if I can explain this, can I? Okay, you can see. So I take my two fingers on my right hand or like the opposite hand and I'm going to like run it down. You'll know where to kind of stop doing this because you'll either see a lot of the hair like falling down or you'll kind of feel it. And then I use my other hand with one finger. As you can see there I just have one finger. Um, I just wrap it as tightly as I can get it. If you have quite a big curl they can kind of start see falling from each side so I'm actually going to take a little bit of that out. That bit there can be a part of the next one. I'm just wrapping it up and then depending on how thick the curl is I'm going to either use one clip or two. I'll use one for that one. I'll just pin it to my head. I don't know if I'm <laughs> explaining that very well or not but so I'm going to do it again. I'll fit three in here. This one will be quite small. Make sure my insider is going the way that I want it to. I'm going to wrap up. It doesn't have to be from the root. Is that going the right way? No. And make sure it's going the right way. So about 20 seconds. 
and then I let it go into my hand. Ooh. Give it a little bit of a shake or let it kind of just chill and cool down there for a sec. And I'm left with this and then I'm going to give it a spray. Take two fingers down towards the bottom. Uh, if you do have kind of shorter hair as well, you can also like twist it, if you know what I mean, to kind of twist the hair into it so, so much of it doesn't fall down. And just flip it up. Use one finger of the opposite hand to help like turn it up to my head. Take my clip. And just kind of keep it there. You can see they're not perfect they're a bit jaggedy but I find like pinning them up helps 120% rather than just curling my hair because my hair is also so heavy and I've so much of it if I just curl it and let it like drop and um, the curls will fall out yeah I'm gonna keep going until I do um until I move on to the top se uh, section and then I'll be back This is editing Ellie. Um, I just wanted to pop on here. You can see here that I'm talking during this, but I was just talking shite, so I just thought I'd speed it all up uh, and save us all the torture. But I'm just doing the exact same thing with a second row. Um, so I have mine in like three rows. So this is me just doing the exact same thing as the bot, uh, exact same thing that I did with the bottom row on a second one. And then that little bun on top of my head is just all my natural hair and I come to that at the end. I also really quickly wanna say, you do not need to go out and buy these specific products to achieve this look. Like any curler will do. It's literally just pinning the curls so they cool and last longer. So then the very last step is obviously all of this kind of shorter natural hair on top. So the first thing that I like to do is figure out where I want my parting, whether it's in the middle or to the side. So again, I'm just separating it into two sides. This one won't be as big, oh my God, I look like a slideshow bob. The hair on the top of my head, so this kind of natural layer, it's not layered, it's just short, um, hair. I like to curl out from my head so this gives the illusion of volume because I have so much extensions in my hair and my hair is kind of my natural hair is very straight I don't I don't get a lot of volume in my hair so this one I'll only get like two curls out of so I'm going to take this little piece of hair and instead of curling away from my face I'm going to flip the insider around so the hottest part normally this um, flat part like not hot part is closest to my face but I'm going to flip it around so that the hottest part is towards my scalp and I'm going to make sure it's rotating in the way that's going like around like that. Put the hair into this because this is natural hair also I don't feel like it needs um, as long so I'm only going to give that for 15 20 seconds. Catch it again in my hand and let it slightly kind of cool and then to pin these instead of rolling from the bottom up that way. I'm gonna roll it away from my hair and kind of under itself. I'm just gonna give it a little spray and roll it under itself like that. Oh, I thought there was a pain in my mouth. <laughs> oh. So you can see there, the way that I have it is like rolled off my head. So for this section here, because this is like my bangs or fringe, uh, I like to put a roller in it really just to give it a lift. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and roll it outwards. Like that. Like that gives me so much satisfaction. And then I like to use these big huge green rollers. I have absolutely no idea where I got them from. I think you, like, you can get them in pennies, you can get rollers on Amazon, you can get them anywhere. And these are just the Velcro rollers. So I'll just feed it into the bottom and then just like roll it up like that. So I'm going to give that a little spray. Oh, I think I forgot a part. Give that a little spray and then I'm going to do it the other side. And 
that is my whole head all curled and pinned up. So the last thing I'm gonna do, I know I hairsprayed each curl, but just in case, in case I'm gonna go in and just give the last lick. I actually can't breathe in here. So I'm gonna show you the time. I'm not sleeping in these. Sometimes I do, and um, I don't find them too uncomfortable. I kind of just bear it. Um, but I'm sure you can get like softer clips or else I'll use like bobby pins instead if I want to sleep in it just to make it a little bit more comfortable um, I have slept in it before, it works very very well, works a charm but I'm not going to sleep in it tonight so the current time is 6, what is it? 6.17 I'm going to leave these um, pinned up for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like once you take them all out. I will see you in a while after my dinner and when I come back and take these all out. So I'm back and it's been roughly over two hours so the time now nearly half eight. So yeah it's been roughly about two hours that I've left them and um, chill and whatever you can see some of them kind of my little short bits are falling out. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take each of the clips out. There's no like order or anything I'm just gonna start from the bottom and work my way up and then we can brush them out and I'll show you the final result. bit so you can see what we're kind of left with curly sue uh, so all I'm gonna do is take a brush now and just brush through them after you brush through them sometimes I like to kind of go in and separate them because they can all just kind of like wind together and turn into one and um, so I'm just gonna take a brush smooth them out a little bit so I'm just brushing them out and you can see the way like the roller gives this curl I love this this is my favorite part the way it kind of like comes from the root and flicks out that's more or less how I get my um big curly kind of at home pin curl or an updated version of it it's more or less the same as the last video I did but uh, like it's still the same technique and more or less the same products but um that's how I do it anyway. Like I said at the beginning of this, I'm no hairdresser, I'm no expert. This is just what personally works for me, so I just thought I'd share. So yeah, that's just how I do mine. So if you enjoyed this video and you like how my hair turned out, um, make sure to leave me a comment and give this video a like. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next one.